Hello everybody, Kevin here. How are you today? Uh, today I want to show you a really cool little technique for creating what's called an effects chain in Audacity. Now you'd want to use an effects chain when you do your post processing effects. You know how when you do your audio you have to go in and do all of your uh, post-production uh, modifications to it over and over again the same way. You have to normalize the volume, you have to compress it, you have to do all those same things each and every time over and over and over again. Well, wouldn't it be cool if you could with one click of your mouse simply apply all of your post-processing effects and make it sound the same way every time? Well, you can. It's called an effects chain. And I'll show you how easy it is to do it. So what you're looking at here is my raw audio. This is raw, untouched audio. I haven't done anything to it. So to make an effects chain work, you have to go in and actually do the effects manually the first time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize, and I'm going to normalize to negative 1. I like to go a little bit higher than some folks do. Some Most go to negative 3, but I'm normalizing to 1. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to select a little piece. I don't have too much in here. It's pretty clean. But I want to select something that would be background noise, something like maybe this here. And then I want to go and remove the noise. So I'll choose Noise Removal, Get Noise Profile, Command A to select all, back to Effects, Noise Removal, and this setting's about good. If you do much more than 16 dB, 12, 15, 16 dB, you're going to over, uh, you're going to start removing the good stuff essentially. So, so I'll click that, and that looks good. Now the next thing I want to do is apply some equalization. So I'm going to go to my EQ. Now this is where this video, it's beyond the scope of the video, how to EQ your audio. What I've done is I've saved an EQ with my name on it for the microphone I'm using. Now this is the important thing about effect stacks is that the effect stacks work for that microphone with that user in that environment. So the first thing you'd have to do to make the effects uh, chain work. I keep saying stacks, I apologize. Uh, to make the effects chain work is you have to go in and make sure that you are in the same environment all the time. So I'm going to choose this equalization curve that I've got here with my name on it and the microphone I'm using in this room and click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects compressor and I'm going to apply some compression. These are about the settings I'm comfortable with. I want the attack time and the decay time to be right down to zero if I can get them. And then you can set your others to be just about like this. It should work pretty well. You don't want to over compress too many dBs or it starts to sound like you're in a tin can when your audio is done. So I'm going to hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is go back to effects and then I'm going to renormalize it to minus one. Okay, so now I've applied all my effects. The thing I need to do next is go to File and Edit Chains. So here you can see I've already got a couple of uh, ones in here already. You would just hit Add and I'm going to just call this Test and then that's going to give us a clean board to, to do our chain. So I'm going to insert, and the first thing we did was we normalized. And when you hit normalize, you go to edit parameters, and I'm going to choose negative one. And click OK. And there's our normalization set into our effects chain. The next one I'll hit is insert, and what's the next one we did? That was noise removal right down here. Edit the parameters and we see that we have the parameters in the profile that we want. Click OK and OK and there you see noise removal has been added to the chain. Now the next thing we did was equalization. Edit parameters and I want to make sure that it's the right one. There it is. And I hit OK and OK. Now the next thing we did was we did some compression. So let's choose compressor. And then we see our parameters here. And it looks good. And we select OK and now compression has been added to it. 
Now the last thing I want to do is hit insert and we renormalize back to minus one. So I want to come in and I want to pick normalize. Minus one. Okay. So now I can simply hit OK to all this and it will have saved it in test. So now we have a complete effects chain here. So the next time we do our dry audio, all I have to do is apply it. So I'll hit OK. And then if I was to come back here and do Command Z and take all of the things to this audio that we did. And there we are back to our original dry audio. So now instead of doing all that stuff, all I have to do is go to File, Apply Chain, choose Test, and apply to Current Project, and watch. Boom. There it goes. All of those things were done in one simple click. So we hope that was really helpful to you guys. And uh, this is Kevin again. Uh, hope you're having a great time out there with Audacity and your effects chains. And we'll see you next time.